Rich, I'm Grammy Crochet, and welcome to my filming studio today. Uh, today is actually Tuesday, but I have a tutorial for um, the cowl coming up today, uh, Grandma P's cowl, and that should come out today. So I'm going to film this and have it come out on Wednesday um, before Thanksgiving, and then luck of the draws on Thanksgiving. So that's what's coming up. Um, and this is some happy mail and um, just some chat. So I did uh, want to welcome you all. Uh, any new subscribers, thanks for coming. I hope that you'll continue to come back. Any of my old friends, hey, I hope you guys are having a great week. And thanks for coming back again and again. I hope everybody's having a great week. I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving. If you're seeing this after Thanksgiving, uh, which is Thursday uh, in uh, the US so what's up um, I finished the, the tutorial for grandma P's cowl and I did it in a four-way yarn and it's not the greatest tutorial but it will work uh, this is the four-way yarn one uh, and then uh, this is oh, she's on my mannequin and now she doesn't want to stand up uh, and then this is the five weight yarn one that I did not, that I added the fur to that I did not give to grandma because grandma got the other one and she's got it. And it, I hope, hopefully she's in Maryland. So probably she's making good use of it right now. It's here. It's rainy and chilly today. Uh, so this is the five weight one and I really like it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you you know, if you want to make it, it should have come out yesterday as of the filming and release of this video. So I got some happy mail. Um, I got a package in my post office box from Carol Wagner, who sent me a note uh, saying that she made these squares for Boggy Creek blankets and was hoping that I could use them. So thank you so much, Carol, uh, for that. Or, uh, not Carol, Connie. <laughs> Did I say Carol? I think I said Carol. It's Connie. Connie Wagner. Um, and these are some of my favorites that she's got in here, 18 of them, but you know, this one's got purple. So, you know, I love that one. And, uh, she's got some real bright colored ones. This is real bright, pretty colors. And, uh, this one, this one is like crocheted in the round to make a square. It's kind of cool, kind of different. Uh, and I love the colors of these two. So those are some of my favorite out of look 18 of them. Oh, oops, here's another real bright orange and yellow one. But there's 18 squares here, so I really appreciate that. Um, and we will get them put into a blanket. So thank you so very much. We appreciate that. Uh, and then I'm gonna set these over the side. Um, let me get rid of this. I don't want to be in the way. Then I also got my Mary Maxim kit in the mail, my quarterly kit, which you guys, I've been getting it for a year now. I gave one in a donation uh, for a charity, not made. <coughs> I, I like getting the kit. I like seeing what's coming. You may have seen somebody else open this kit already because they come out throughout the month uh, to different places. So this is the kit. Uh, I opened it because, I mean, it's a kit. I know what's coming. This month's kit, they used a Karen anniversary cake as the yarn for the kit, which I'm kind of excited about because I've never had a Karen anniversary cake. Now, one really nice thing about these kits is that they come in this really cool bag with a nice handle. It's see-through. It's got a pouch inside for the pattern. And so let's get the yarn in the pouch out. Uh, I mean the yarn in the pattern. The pattern I'm not real thrilled with. Uh, it's real basic, it's real easy. Um, it is, I'm sure, a free pattern at Mary Maxim, or maybe it's not, but it's just, uh, it's an easy pattern for sure. Um, it's like, uh, two row repeat um, when you use thicker yarn you don't need a lot of different stitches the yarn is like to speak for itself um, 
because you don't get much stitch definition in a thick yarn. And this is a bulky stick. Uh, as you can see, the color is called Nimbulous. And uh, without opening, well, yeah, I really, well, it can go right back in the bag. So I guess I can take it out of this bag and show you a little bit of yarn. I've never had an anniversary cake. I um, have never worked a whole lot with the real bulky yarns. And um, it says to make the blanket fits on the ball band, you need two mega balls. Now this is even held together with a band inside. Oh, the yarn is really nice and soft. And it's got some really pretty colors. I mean, I, I, I do. I like the colors. The gray, and then you go to purple and blue and pink and another blue, gray, purple. Um, the colors in it are fabulous. And you can see the color. And this is how it works up because this is this pattern is made out of this yarn. Um, and it is like a two-row repeat on this pattern. Very simple. But that's really, like, on a thick yarn, that's really kind of all you need. I am not going to make a blanket out of it. Uh, I can tell you that right now. Unless I were to make a Boggy Creek blanket out of it. Look, it's got a full start in the center. That's really cool. There are uh, 30, it's 35.3 ounces, 1,000 grams, um, which is 161 yards, 790 meters. And this weighs a lot. I mean, um, I don't know what 100, 1,000, I guess that's the weight, 1,000 grams, right? I don't know what the poundage is on that, but it's got some poundage on there. And uh, the Canadian price, it says Canadian price right on there is $40. I think they charge uh, like $35 here in the States. Um, it's nice. It's really nice. I've seen a lot of people use this uh, yarn. Um, and I will use this yarn, but I will, I'm not going to make this pattern. Um, <clears throat> I can really see this as a very comfy, I'm saying, why didn't I buy one of these to make the, the uh, crochet sweater the, uh, that I'm supposed to knit? <laughs> the sweater I'm supposed to knit? Why didn't I buy one of these for that? That would have been a great idea. Uh, but I could definitely see a sweater made out of this. Uh, I think a sweater would be awesome. Any kind of sweater. Uh, and warm. And it's, you know, getting to that time of year around here. So I'm going to put this back in here. And uh, let me see the, maybe I'm going to put it back in here. I do want to house it in here if it wants to get back in your little garage. There you go. And these pouches, these bags, have this pouch right in here that you can put the pattern in. I will put the pattern back in there. Um, but I'm not... I don't, I don't feel like I want to make a blanket because um, I have a lot of blankets. I make a lot of blankets with the Boggy Creek and all that. This would make a couple of really fast, quick Boggy Creek blankets, but it's not fitting in the little pouchy thing. There we go. Um, this would make a couple of really quick, fast Boggy Creek blankets out of it. I'm sure you could probably get more than one. But I would rather use it to make a garment. Um, when that happens, who knows? But I think that's what I'm going to do with it. I really like it. I like getting the kit. Uh, even though I have yet to make a blanket out of the kits that I get from Mary Maxwell. I'm not going to continue to get the kit. It's I think it's about $35 with shipping. I think it's uh, $29.99 for the kit. And then like $5 shipping. So it's like five, it's like $30. $34.99 or something, I think. Or it's $35 for the kit and $5 shipping, $39.99. One of those two. Um, it's $35 to $40 bucks for the kit. And you get the kit and the, I think it's $29.99 for the kit. And then $5 for the shipping, so it's $35. Which is pretty much what I would have paid for that yarn anyway. Uh, the only bad thing about the kit is if you get yarn you really don't like, <laughs> Um, but I have not been unsatisfied with the yarn. And if you don't like the pattern, you can always use the yarn for something else. Um, so I, I think it's kind of fun to get. And one day I will get around to making them. I just haven't done that yet. 
but I wanted to show it to you. Um, and sometimes they run the kits on sale if you, you know, not in the kit, automatically get it. You can get one. There's a kit that's once a month, and this one is once a quarter. And when I started getting it, I thought, well, once a quarter I can come up with <laughs> making the blanket. No, still haven't done it. But like I said, I'm not going to stop doing it. Um, I do enjoy doing it. I don't do that many mystery bags anymore. You know, I love getting, I used to love to get the mystery bags of yarn, but I quit getting them because um, I found that you most of the time I wasn't getting enough yarn to make something with. And I got a couple of kits that had wool in it. And I've done that to me was just like, you're really risking it at that point for me since I can't use the wool. I, unless you can specify. Uh, then I might get a kit again, but I, I've been tending to stay away from them because you get like a skein of one yarn and a skein of another kind of yarn and a skein, and I have a lot of one skein yarns already. Um, and if it's not like the same kind of four weight, I don't know, then I, it, it, four weight yarns, I don't mind getting one skein of as long as they're not, you know, wool, but if it's going to, you know, a skein of three weight and a skein of two weight, and said, I don't have a lot of those to mix and match. So, and I don't use them a lot. So I want to pick out my own if I'm doing that. So uh, mystery bags are fun and you can get a lot of yarn for a cheap price. Um, but I'm finding I'm at a point now with the yarn that I have and that I still keep buying, even though I keep saying I'm not going to buy anymore. I have more in my cart right now. I'm probably going to finish this video and order it. Um, Joanne's just sent me this coupon, 20% off, pick up, I can stop and pick it up tomorrow, I'm going to be right there, and it's 20% off the Dwarfbuster price even, so I'm going to order some Karen One Pound in the, you know, white and cream, because I like that yarn, so I'll talk about that when I get them, uh, and I ordered other things too, you know. Um, it is what it is. It's yarn I will use. It, it's not a, for a specific thing. It's for everything. <laughs> the white, anyway. So, anyway, I also wanted to show you. Uh, I finished. I'm, I'm ghost stitching for um, my friend that speaks before she thinks. Just like I did when I said I would ghost stitch this for her. <laughs> I don't mind the ghost stitching for her. Um, if you've been around the YouTube streets, you know what I'm talking about. I don't mind that I'm making this for her, uh, you know, helping her out. But she's not the only one that opens her mouth before she knows what she's talking about. But I'm making these, I did these squares into circles. I want to show you all the different colors. I did yellow, I did mint, I did um, this like tealy blue color. There is a pink um, there's other colors. I'm just trying to find them. Oh, I ha of course I have to have a lavender. Uh, some kind of purple had to be there. And I have this green. And there is a coral color. Uh, is that it? Yeah. And a coral color. So I think I have seven different colors. And I made seven of each for 49. One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah. So I have seven different colors. I know I've talked about this before. Uh, and they match. And I didn't use, I could have used scraps for as much yarn as it needed of the circles. And it's just, you know, increase, increase around a magic ring. Really easy. Then I added two rows of granny stitch. Also made it really fast to make the two rows of granny stitch. Um, and you just... I, th I think I have 36 stitches around the circle and then every three you put in another granny and uh, you know in a corner so two grannies then a corner two gran or you know two clusters then a corner two clusters and a quarter and you know then you just uh, start with the start with half the cluster and then two clusters in a corner and went around and finished it here and then well actually it's probably over here <laughs> on this one because there's my tail uh, and then um, you know, make the second row. And that made it, I think they're about seven inches. 
or why they, what are they? Let's measure. Uh, they are five and a half inches, five and a half inches. Um, and so I talked about how I probably want to put faces on them. This, oh, and so these were just different yarns, any different yarn, um, to match the colors in this. This is my granny square part, the part of the granny. And so I was pulling colors from here because that's what I like to do. So like there's a corally kind of color like right there. So that kind of matches that. Uh, the green, you see the green in there, that's to match that. The lavender, uh, the pink, uh, you can kind of pull those colors out. The, the blue, oh there's the blue. This one, not in there, but I need more colors and it kind of fits in the theme. The yellow also not in there, but the same, should have been in there. And the the mint also not in here, but you, when you put it all together, it looks fine. Uh, I think it does anyway. I put two rows on all of these and that is, this is what's left of three cakes or three skeins. So I don't have another one of this color. This is, uh, I love this yarn uh, from Hobby Lobby in Sherbert's Stripes. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to get three of them on a clearance sale at one point. Uh, it, they are five ounces, 142 grams, 252 yards, 230 meters, 100% acrylic. I really do love this yarn. I love the I love this yarn yarn. Uh, this will not be enough to like join and make a border. And so I was thinking, what would I join with? Um, there's a lot of these little squares. I got 49 of them and it makes a good size bag. Uh, I mean, a, a good size, it'll make a, a boggy size blanket for sure. So I picked this color to join. So if you put these two together, because this is what it's gonna be up against, I think they look pretty good together. This is big twist um, in the color, <laughs> made in Turkey, dark coral. You know, I should add another one of these. I know I don't have another one of these. And this is, I'm pretty sure I don't, I'm going to check. Pretty sure I don't have another one of these. But I should probably throw one of these in that bag that I'm ordering from. Um, because I'm ordering from Joann's. Is that one I just talked about a minute ago? Uh, because I think I only have one. And I, I, I was also thinking, well, when I do a border, if I'm not sure how much space I'm going to have for a border. So maybe it's just a single crochet around. I mean, a single crochet join them because I want to have, I don't want to run out of room for a border. Um, so I think I will throw another one in this color in my cart. Um, so then that would be enough for sure. But I had also thought, well, maybe I'll just use the rest of these colors that I already had out uh, to make the border. You know, just kind of uh, scrap yarn it together. But I think that might be too much with the variegated already. So uh, I, I am just going to order another one of those. And the, they're on sale too, I think. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do that. And I, this is where I opened my big mouth <laughs> without thinking. Just because I thought it would be so fun when I did that uh, Barbies and Breast Cancer Blanket. Um with Nancy. When I did that blanket, I thought to myself, I really liked doing the um, smiley face one. I thought it was really cute. Uh, and so I thought, well, you know, I've got all these circles. I could put smiley faces on them. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll smiley face every one of them. Um, I smiley face this one and I put eyelashes. They're supposed to be eyelashes. I think it either looks like she's got stitches or maybe you can make it look like I, I, just, I don't know. And then I said I didn't want them to all be the same and I wanted to like make them like a little different. So this, I've done two. And so this one is, she's crooked, um, but smiling. 
I like it better without the eyelashes. I made little circles and sewed them on. That's not what I did in the boggy crepe bracket. Let me grab it and see the smiley face. I, I didn't have the smiley face with me. Yeah, see, I think we just, on this smiley face, you just, um, sewed it on. So I surface crocheted the smile on here, but this was just stitched with the uh, yarn, you know, just thread. I mean, just uh, uh, with the darning needle. That's how you did this. Um, and I made a back because the, I remember it was so messed up with all my string going around here and there and, and or not string, but yarn. So I, I crocheted a second circle and sewed them together so you hide all the back. The back on this isn't so bad. Uh, it's not fantastic. This one's better. Um, this one, because of putting the eyelashes on, it kind of has a different look to it. But I thought, I'm not making more circles and sewing up my A. I already have these into the squares. Um, and I had most of the circles already done before I decided that they should have smiley faces on them. So this one, because you just sewed it, it was much faster to do than doing this. So I'm now I'm not sure if I'm gonna do every single one with a smiley face on it and see how long it takes. Uh, but if I do a couple a day, if I make a bunch of the eyeballs, I tried using the black yarn that I'm using, which is scrap yarn, and it's, I think it's supposed to be a four weight, but maybe it's just a three. Uh, it feels like a Karen Simply Soft. It was not my yarn. A friend of mine, aunt, passed away, and she had some, she did like a project and then used up her yarn. She didn't have a lot of scraps, but this was one of her scraps. And <clears throat> since nobody in her family crochets, she gave me the yarn. And it was like a partial project and this this, this little bag of, of scraps mostly. And so of course I took it because why wouldn't I, right? Uh, and so I was using this, I thought, to make the faces. It does have a little bit of a shine, so I'm wondering if it isn't a, like a Karen Simply Soft. But it's, um, and it feels kind of thin. So I'm not sure if I should get out a different black and just surface, you know, just use the dar the, the darning needle and sew it. I do have a, like a bulky black, a five weight, which might be a good idea. I mean, the ones that I've done, I'm going to leave done, but I might get out that bulky five weight and see how it's a, it's a Karen yarn, I think. Um, and bought these big balls of it to make a blanket with, and I didn't do that, but maybe I will... It wasn't all the right color yarn that I bought to go together. Um, but maybe I'll try that or just a regular four weight and see see if that works better because crocheting these and then sewing them on was a little more time consuming than what I was hoping to do with this. But I also don't want the situation that I had um, with the pink one where I had to like make a back because it was so messed up looking. Uh, so I'm going to play a little bit with it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but I, you know, about the different yarns, I may not continue with this yarn. Um, but I'll throw these two in for sure. I think it's cute, super cute, if their faces aren't going the same way. I'm going to, and that they have a little bit more personality. I wanted to try to do maybe like eyebrows on a couple of them to give them a little expression. Um... I don't know if I have really space for an eyebrow. <laughs> I tried, but it, I, I, I like put it on there a couple of times and I'm like, I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, so we're going to see what happens. Um, I don't, I don't want it to be a, like real time consuming because I do want to get this done and other projects this year uh, for Boggy Creek. Uh, I still have to finish my knit blanket. I have to make the Christmas blanket. Um, and, you know, then there's the luck of the draw blanket that I'm still doing for Boggy Creek this year. Uh, I don't I don't know if there's... I have some 7-inch granny squares, uh, willow squares, that I made, 
I don't know, two years ago. I used to, or three years ago, I used to, um, had, I was trying, and I did for a while. I would make, finish a project and take the scraps and make granny squares. Uh, make squares. I, I was doing willow squares for a while. I did granny squares for a little bit and made, um, actually this blanket. I, it was rectangles. Um, I, I started with this scrap rectangle uh, for a tutorial and then I just started adding my scraps to those rectangles until it became big enough that I could make a blanket with it. And so um, it sits on the back of this chair and so I just kind of like tried to add coordinating yarns to go with whatever color was in the center of the of that particular granny square or granny rectangle and then I joined it with gray I don't know why but that's what I did and that's what it looks like and I I like the blanket it <laughs> each one is kind of unique um, in colors that I thought would coordinate that were scraps and so that's uh, was like a, a thing that I was it's a modern granny is what I did around I did a modern granny around the triangle around the rectangle and the rectangles were just swatches of comparing different yarns. So um, anyway, there for a while I was making granny squares of some, some sort of square and out of all my scraps to as I used them, as I as I made the scrap, you know what I mean? I finished the project, I had the scrap, make some granny squares out of it. Um, that was a really good idea for a minute. Uh, and I did make that blanket and one other blanket that I think my daughter has. And then I have this whole bunch of granny squares that I want to sew together, the, the willow squares, for a Boggy Creek blanket again, still before we go, <laughs> before February. And you think sewing them together isn't going to take that long, and it won't. Um, but I have to just sit down and do it, you know? That's the whole thing. You have to sit down and do it. So I don't want the smiley faces to take me forever. But I think it's going to be super cute. What do you guys think? Even if I don't do every single square, but do like at least a couple in a row, um, we'll see the, how, time, how the time, how time, good, you know, how fast the time goes. But I'm thinking maybe if I had a thicker yarn, because this, this just seems like a little thin. Then I wouldn't have to do the circles and I could make them more oblong and just sew them right on. And I'm going to try that. I'm going to try a four weight and then see if I, maybe a five weight. But maybe a four weight would be good enough. And then I'm going to record these in my done, um, oh, two of them, in my log of how much yarn I've used. I can't record or log the one that's not completed. But I'm going to leave it in there uh, until I uh, leave it with my other scraps from this blanket. Um, I haven't put them all away. The ones that I had more than one skein, those are back on my shelf. But the ones that were one skein and now it's partial skein, I have enough. They're going in my scrap bin. Uh, and But I haven't put them into the scrap bin yet in case I need them for some reason. If I need more squares or whatever, I need to have those out. So that is the theory uh, of this blanket, and I think it's going to be really fun, and I'm really wishing I had started it at like the beginning of January <laughs> for, uh, for next year uh, so that I could spend more time trying to, I have ideas of like, you know, look at the emojis, smiley emojis and what you can do, um, like the wink, that would be cute. Uh, I think I could do a wink if I'm just sewing, you know, just have one round eye and one with just the curve and some laces. Uh, but the thing is, you know, when you're doing like surface crochet, the circle goes the opposite way of the wink, <laughs> you know, so um, I don't know. It's great for the smile, the surface crochet. So anyway, uh, I'm, I'm having fun with the two that I've done, and it's fun in my head. <laughs> so hopefully it'll continue to be fun in my head uh, as, as I make some of them and get them done. I'm hoping to do a few a day and see how that goes. Uh, so that's the plan. 
Uh, Connie, thank you so very much for the squares. We will put them to good use and, uh, you know, put them into some Boggy Creek blankets. Uh, that'll be awesome. And that's all I have for you today. Tomorrow, if you watch this the day it comes out, tomorrow is Thanksgiving in the U.S. Have a very happy Thanksgiving. Remember, Thanksgiving, uh, any holiday food is calorie-free, according to me. So you just eat your little hearts out and enjoy yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.